these things happen. If you didn't know, Detroit, Michigan just got hit with a very large storm, and this witness has something to tell you. So there's this tree in my neighbor's yard, and it fell into my yard, and it destroyed Pietro's spaghetti. If you don't know what Pietro's spaghetti is, explain, Anthony. It's a shed in my yard that some Italian people created into a spaghetti place. And that shed is all over 70 years old. It was made in the 50s, and it was closed down for a while, but Anthony opened it back up, and the recipe hasn't been better. But as of today, the shed is permanently closed and will be demolished very soon. Another thing that happened is that it hit the power line, and now it's broken, and now I have to stay at your house. Look at that tree that fell on the shed in the playground in the power line. And this is the shed. It absolutely is destroyed. This is so sad. And the storm's gonna get bigger tonight in Detroit, Michigan. So it might there might be more trees. And the shed is supposed to be demolished tomorrow because it's not fully crushed to where it's, you know, all those wood planks on the ground. But it's pretty crushed, so it's gonna have to be wiped out and it's permanently closed. Well, at least the Pietro Spaghetti franchise still exists. Yeah, just the building is gone, the original building. If you watch some of our videos, you'll definitely see it. Wake <laughs> up! You said you were the witness Oh the yeah. recent doorbell. Burger. Sorry I was sleeping. All right, because I couldn't sleep last night. This is what happened. So, I am just chilling in my bed, trying to sleep. Yep. Then I get this doorbell notification about some clowns that were running at my doorbell saying toxic waste. What? Mm. And if you don't know what toxic waste is, it's this really sour candy. And they were eating it right in front of my doorbell. That must be scary. Oh my god, guys. You gotta see this video right here. in this cabinet for some reason all right so basically it was 6 a.m when i woke up that morning and it was late i was getting very tired and you know me i'm the kind of guy who leaves couch candy underneath his couch and that's where i sleep on my couch and i didn't realize this but through the days it, you it got bigger and bigger until i realized the guy was living underneath and the reason why it got bigger and bigger is because he was eat, getting fat because he was eating all my couch candy. Oh Why my was he eating my couch candy? I don't know. Oh my gosh. It was the scariest thing seeing him underneath. Just look at this video. <laughs> I had to wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. I just want to get some rest. This bed looks really comfy. Wait. Why is it sort of tilted? Hold on. You know, let's just check what's under it. I don't, maybe my, uh, you know, couch candy... Um, couch candy collection is filling up. All right, we got to take it off. What the heck? Wow, how much candy did this store in here? Hopefully nobody eats my candy. Nobody probably found this secret trap door. All right, let's take it off. <gasps> nummy, nummy, gummy. Wait, what the heck? Somebody's been living under my bed? <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You want to try to steal my gummies? This is my candy. Are you sure about that? Oh my god, and that's my drink! There's my yes, guys, you won't believe what I just found out. You cannot have corn in, in this world. This dimension we're what? in. What do you mean by that? I don't know, because I can't even have corn. Because guess what? I find a pot what? of corn. It's It says all free for all. So I grab some, and then there's this guy with a plate full of corn that says, Hey! Who's eating my corn? And then he chases me and attacks me. See the video. Guys, one of my favorite foods is corn. Excuse me. What? Are you trying to eat my corn? No, you know, I'll, I'll put it. What were you trying to do? Ah, 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 oh my God. 
You know, I better start running. I better start running. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, guys. Right now, I'm walking around. It's raining. It's very wet. So, I just hope there's no rabbit guy. Wait a second. What is that? What is that? What is that? No, 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 no way, no way, no way somebody, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. The craziest was at the start where Pietro Spaghetti was closed. If you don't know about him, let's back you up. So, in the 1950s, there was a guy, an Italian guy, and another Italian guy named Giovanni, who decided to make spaghetti. <coughs> they made their own restaurant. It was so good. They had the recipe, and it permanently, and they both died. They both Sad. died in 19... 72 and once they both died the restaurant permanently closed until 2023 when some random boys named anthony and yanni decided to open it back up and once it got opened we found out the recipe in a random paper and we were selling business but sadly it is closed down but we might have another chapter two of Pietro Spaghetti will come when I get a new shed. Thank you. 